In other videos, we talked about the major changes to the Adobe Connect meeting room in version 9.3, like the mini control panel for screen sharing and the new whiteboard tools. In this video, we're going to examine some of the other new features that have been added in this release. The first is the ability to mask phone numbers in the attendees pod. The host can go to preferences, select the attendees pod tab, and check the box to mask telephone numbers. What does this do? When you're using an integrated audio bridge with your connect meeting, the phone numbers people are dialing in from are listed in the attendees pod. Masking the phone numbers causes the prefix of the telephone number to be replaced with X's, so they look like this. In the past, this was turned on and there was no easy way to turn it off. Now, with this new preference feature, the host can turn masking on or off. Another new feature to look for in this release of Connect is the split dialout in the Join Audio Conference dialog box. All available countries are now listed and attendees must now select a specific country in order for the conference bridge to call them. This avoids the problem of attendees entering the country code incorrectly or not at all and failing to connect. Guided hints is the next new thing I want to talk about. These are displayed in the meeting room for each of the attendees as soon as they log in. These hints show different information depending on the role of the attendee. So hosts see hints on hosts, presenters see hints for presenters, and participants see hints for participants. You can check the checkbox at the bottom left of the hints dialog box if you don't want to see them again. But you can also bring them back by going to the help menu in the meeting room and selecting show tips for Adobe Connect. I also want to talk about chat sounds. Each attendee can set whether they want to hear a chat sound when there's a new message in the chat pod. I expect this will be used primarily by hosts and presenters so that they can hear a chime whenever there's a new chat message. Sometimes when you're the only host in the meeting room, it's difficult to watch the chat pod for new posts while you're also sharing your screen or even presenting from a slide deck. An audible notification will be welcome in those situations. And I love this improvement to the video pod. It used to be that when you gave participants the right to use their webcam, you also gave them rights to stop any other webcam feed. So the participant could actually turn off your webcam in the Connect meeting room. Although it may not be the end of the world, and I've never actually had a problem with it in the real world, it certainly fell under the category of something I wasn't very happy with. In version 9.3, granting video rights to participant only allows them to turn on their own webcam, pause their own webcam, or pause any webcam feed to their own instance of the meeting room, and stop only their own webcam. They can no longer stop someone else's webcam. I'm glad to see this. One more thing, starting with this version, when you use the preferences dialog box to give microphone rights to participants, this is a persistent setting. So the next time you open the meeting room, all participants will automatically be granted microphone rights. I've actually had people ask me if they could make this a persistent setting. So this is going to be very helpful for them. If you don't have Adobe Connect yet, or if you need help getting the most from the platform, you can contact us here at Intisolve using the info on the screen.